Singer Maury Show. Thank you all for being here. This is where we look at raw human emotions, the things that are really tying our society together by that thinnest of threads, shared media consumption. Now, last week we wrapped up our six-part series, So Your Teenage Daughter Wants to Be a Professional Wrestler. This week, we've partnered with a local organization called the Boston League of Wicked Wrestlers, a group that is reclaiming the concept of violence and reinventing it to include a sense of mutual respect, consent, and the ownership of one's authentic identity. Isn't that great, everyone? <laughs> now, unfortunately, this group has experienced a serious schism over recent weeks. The tag team Bradley's Babes, the stars of the show, Pammy and Cheryl, have gone through a horrible, traumatic breakup. I know. Now, we have a young fan with us here today to talk more about this. But first, let's watch a clip from their most recent show that will give you a much better background for why these two just can't get along. Roll it, Johnny. world to pay somebody to come out here and fight us today. <laughs> <laughs> we at the dungeon would like to propose to you these propose? ten thousand oh. American dollars. <laughs> it looks like we have a match. Uh. untouchable as us <laughs> and no one is as dominant as us <laughs> and it's official it's written in gold the dungeon is here it's the year of the dungeon there ain't no bradley's anymore there hasn't been a bradley's in 20 years <laughs> wow what a brutal end to a beautiful story rat king what did the bradley's babes really mean to you I mean, I don't know, they're my favorite tag team, and like, I grew up on them, man, and now they're broken up, and I I just don't know what to do. I just want them to hang out, and, oh. you know, be in 1995. I think we've all been there, Rat King. Now, what do you think the effect has been on the team of all this? Well, I think most of the team has uh, been pretty torn up about it, but you know, I particularly am totally just and completely heartbroken. Oh. And Cheryl is too, obviously. Oh, I, I hope there's something we can do to help. Now I have a special surprise for all of you here today. We've actually invited the Bradley's babes, Cheryl and Pammy, to the studio. I know, I know, we are so, however, however, we have not told them the real reason that we've brought them here. They are under the impression that they are here for extreme makeovers. 
something I think they could both use anyway. Now, Pammy is backstage in her soundproof booth. Let's check in on Cheryl, who is undergoing her extreme makeover transition with our on-staff makeup artiste, Crystal Aura. We're, we're really very lucky to have Crystal on staff. We'll check in with that a little, little bit later, let that wrap up. Part of what Crystal does so well is not just the makeup, but really contributing to a holistic experience. So we're really glad to have her. Thanks. Uh, now, I think we have another guest here, another witness, a participator in Blow, who can tell us a little bit more. Let's welcome Incognito. Oh. All right, now let's, we don't need to be, all right, that's, this is my studio, okay. All right, she loves, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. She has a hot dog. We love hot dogs. Okay, uh, Incognito, what, what has been your take on all of this as a member of the team? Wow, that's, that's great, great, good. Oh. Great, good, good, thank you. Thank you so much for, let's thank Incognito for coming. Well, I think we're, re I'm, oh, I'm getting word. I'm getting word that they're ready backstage. It sounds like. Cheryl has completed the makeover. Okay, we're going to release them from their soundproof booths. They're going to come out and remember, they're not going to know that the other one is even here. So they might be a little surprised. Ready backstage? We're ready? Okay, send them out. Let's send out the ladies. Wow, look at your beautiful new faces. Aren't they beautiful, everyone? Oh, they're beautiful. Wow. Oh. They appear to think it's some kind of reflection. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you look, look like, like Cheryl. Cheryl. Pammy, Pammy. Oh. Hey. Wait, this is wait. Like, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? I like it, but I'm confused by it. Sure. Well, all right. So we didn't tell you. One of your closest fans, your dearest fans, Rat King, wanted to bring you here today to try to make up. Can Can you guys? Do you think you could you could maybe you know put aside your differences and and be friends, you know, you both look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely friggin' not. <laughs> because uh, I don't even know if you guys realize this, but this dusty old broad over here oh, thinks no, it's no. still 1995. Nice. I look like you and it is 1995 and that's why we look like this with all this crap on our face. What We're a beautiful, it's the 90s, nothing could be better than what year it is other than I don't have a roommate nor a best friend anymore to watch television with on cable. Oh, boo hoo, who's gonna eat the dumpster pizza with you now? Oh, all right, now you both look beautiful. I think we can get along. I think we can figure this out. No? Absolutely not. Yes? We can figure this Forget out. Forget unbelievable. Yes. 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 I want my best friend yes. back. My life is in no. shambles. No. Now, you Please. think it's 1995, right? It is, because it is. Yes, it is. Sure. It is. And you think it's 2018? So That's what if yes. we meet in the middle? What about 2006, 2007? Those were great years. There was that, Those all that good music. No, no, it's yet. too late to apologize. Yeah, it's great. I don't That's actually music. a terrible song for this moment. Actually, uh, yeah, absolutely not. All right, I, I almost got sicked and in, sucked into this ridiculous nonsense again, but I'm not doing it. I put my foot down because it is 2018, and I don't. You're not my best friend anymore because you've been lying That's to me this whole time. Oh, oh. I have not yeah. been lying. I've told nothing but the truth, and the truth is that who else is you gonna get other than me to be your best friend anyway? Because we both look so good, nobody would even want to talk to us. We are beautiful. I mean, I'm beautiful, and actually, my new best friend. Crystal Aura. Crystal, Crystal, let's bring her back we out. This is Crystal, Crystal. everyone. Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Now, 
Crystal, supposedly you are Pammy's new best friend. What's yes. that like? Yeah, uh, you know, we like just met today, but doesn't she look great? Like, this it's hair so is so good, right? This is the one you put the same hair on me! This is and I don't have anybody in this freaking world anymore, and you can't have friends! Oh, no, careful, and you careful! Can't have friends, and you can't have friends unless Pammy is my friend! Looks like someone's upset! Pammy, you're my friend! Oh, no! Thank <laughs> you.